Today, I'm going to show you how you can use an ordinary printer to make a copy of a key. Start by placing the key you want to copy on a plain white background. Then place a flat object next to it, like a coin or a ruler. We'll use this to help scale the size later. I used a white sheet of A4 paper as a background. This will help save your printer ink when you print out later. Next, we need to take a photo of the key and the coin from directly above. I'm using my phone. Transfer the picture onto your computer. Open it up. And print it off. Next, we need to put our coin over the top of the printout to make sure it's exactly the same size. If it's not, like this one, we need to rescale the picture and print it out again. This process is a bit of trial and error and you need to keep going until they're exactly the same size. When you've got a match, take a pair of scissors and roughly cut out the picture of the key. It should look like this. Then take an empty food can, remove the lid, place the picture in the centre, and stick it on with a strip of tape. Next, we're going to take a sharp pair of scissors and carefully cut out the key. Do be careful not to cut yourself on any sharp metal and make sure it's nice and accurate, otherwise it won't work. When you're done, it should look like this. If we remove the paper and place it up against the original, you can see they're exactly the same. Pretty cool, huh? This key was actually from a padlock, so now I'm going to try it out. It takes a little bit of waggling, but it really does work. This key is quite a lot thinner than the original, so do be careful, you don't want to bend or snap it. If you like, you can slide the key in to set the pins. Then use something strong like a screwdriver, a knife or a pair of scissors to turn the barrel. This helps take the stress off the key and should make it last longer. But if you're careful with it, you can use it fine, just as it is. This shows just how easily someone can copy your keys if you leave them lying around, so do be careful. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links on the right hand side or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.